Hi, I'm Carrie from Direct Supply, and I'm back with some more ways to help those who help others in long-term care. Today, we're going to tell you a little bit about a zero opening assist device developed right here at Direct Supply by one of our own in-house engineers. Now, assist devices have been around for a long, long time, and the same questions always come up. Is it not an entrapment risk, and it's not a restraint, right? Before we take a look at the assist device itself, let's take a look at what those two words mean. First, entrapment. An entrapment is when someone's head, neck, or chest gets stuck or entrapped within the bed system. And the bed system is made up of a bed, mattress, rail or assist, head and foot boards, and anything else that could be attached to the bed. Entrapment is black and white. You can measure for entrapment, so something either passes or fails an entrapment test. A restraint, on the other hand, is a little bit different. A restraint is based on the resident's ability to move freely within their own ability. So does something either attached to the bed or on the bed or near the resident impede their ability to do so, whether that's physically or mentally? Those things could be considered a restraint. Now let's take a look at the direct supply, zero opening assist device. This assist device is pretty unique. As you can see, there's nowhere for me to get caught or stuck going through the rail with a limb or anything else. What makes this different than other assist devices that claim to have zero openings that are on the market is usually those assists are a regular size rail that then has a material covering over it. You can't see through it and it leads you feeling kind of blocked in. Even worse, some of them are that clear plastic material. Then you end up looking at smears and grease that gets stuck on that rail, and it ends up looking like the back windows of a minivan, and no one wants to lay next to that. This assist device, on the other hand, is sleek and slim. It won't impede someone's view when they're laying down. And it can be used in a number of different ways. So if I'm standing, I can use it to help me get into bed almost like a stabilizing cane. Once I'm in bed, I can use it as I lay down to help turn and reposition myself while in bed. I can also use it then to help pull myself up and egress from bed. We know this new assist device is great for residents and really versatile, but it's also easy to use for caregivers. If I need it out of the way, I simply pull the pin and rotate it down. This assist also allows me to adjust for height, so if I'm using it with a taller mattress, like an air mattress, I can move it up. If I don't need it that high, I can lower it down, really simply and without tools. What makes this assist even more special is that it can fit on a variety of different beds because of the new specially designed bracket. There's a full list of what beds it'll fit on. Reach out to us at directsupply.net. Otherwise, you can call your account manager for more information. And until next time, thanks for all that you do and stay safe out there.